Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of place value and expanded notation. This is standard 5.2a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, which, in which number is the digit 5 in the hundredths place? Alright, so we've got four possible answers here. Let's open up our graph draw feature. Increase our transparency. So, let's do this. Let's first draw a place value chart, label it, and then we'll just put all four of these numbers in it, or underneath it, probably. So, it looks like my biggest numbers right here are B, C, and D. And they go four digits to the left, three digits to the right. So let's let's do that. So let's do one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. All right. So how do we start on place value chart? We'll start with finding the ones place. And the ones place is always directly to the left of the decimal, unless there's no decimal, then it's the farthest to the right. Uh, so before. Uh, we started learning about decimals. It was always the first digit on the right, but now we've got some that are farther to the right. So look for the decimal, and we're going to go straight to the left. So that's your ones place. And then going to the left, tens place. Then we're going to the hundreds place. No, it's hundreds, not hundredths. We're looking for the hundredths, so that's not the one we're looking for. And then thousands. All right, so moving to the right of the decimal, watch what we have here. So I'm just going to write 10, 100, and I'll finish that in just a second. 100, kind of running out of room, and I'll write 1,000. Now, you see we kind of mirror what we have. Besides the ones, there is no mirror of the ones on the right side of the decimal, but tens, tens, hundred, hundred, thousand, thousand they mirror each other, and the next would be 10,000, but it's not the tens place, it's the tenths. I'm going to write that in red here, hundredths, thousandths. It's supposed to be an S over there. Thousandths, so it's the THSs, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for this hundredths place. So it's going to be the second place right here. That's the one we're looking for, and specifically it says we want a 5 in this place. So instead of that X, let's just put a 5 right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start writing my four answer selections. And this is the one I'm really looking for, this 5 in the hundredths place. And I'm going to start really with the decimal, right? So I'm going to move, I'm going to write the four digits to the left of the decimal. And I'm just going to build it out from the decimal moving to the left. 2, 6, 5, 4, and then 8, 7. So 4,562 and 87 hundredths, looking for a 5 in the hundredths. Not going to work. Let's do the same thing underneath here. Let's shift our colors here. So I'm going to start from the ones place and move to the right to build out my whole number. So 2, 4, 6, 1. And then I've got a 7, 0, 5. Well, at least this one's got a 5 but it's got a five in the thousandths place, so it's in the wrong spot, so it's not this one. Take a look at what's wrong with A. Did you notice that A had a five in the hundreds place? But I don't need the hundreds, I need the hundredths. So five is in the wrong spot in A, because it's in the hundreds. And then I've got my B, five is in the thousandths, so it's right next door to the hundredths, still wrong spot. All right, so let's see what happens if we do this third one. So I've got a 3, 2, 6, 7, 1, 5, 9. Okay, there we go. I've got a 5 in the 100 spot. So I'm pretty sure it's C. Let's just verify that it's not going to be this D right here. All right, so I've got... 6, 3, 2, 8, 5, 0, oh, 6. Nope, it's in the 10th spot, so it's in the wrong spot. So my answer here is going to be C.